Hi everyone, I'm Jeremy Reeves, head blender of Cornell & Deal Pipe Tobacco Company, and uh, I'm here to talk to you all about this year's Sunbear Tupelo Edition. Uh, some of you may uh, be familiar with the way that we've done past releases of Sunbear. Uh, same, same base blend, uh, Virginias and Orientals. Um, every year, but the thing that makes each batch really unique and really special is that we uh, select small batch uh, specialty honeys from, uh, from small apiary sources. And so for this year, uh, we decided to seek out a, uh, a family farm um, that keeps 1,500 colonies of bees uh, they're located in Northern Florida, Register Family Farms, and they are uh, a very small apiary, but they are the largest producer of uh, white Tupelo honey in the country. Uh, so there are, there are different types and different grades of Tupelo honey, but in order to be 100% pure Tupelo honey, it actually needs to come from uh, a particular area of Northern Florida, right in the Gulf Coast and the swamps, where there are actually enough white Tupelo trees for the bees to be able to only uh, be uh, interacting with the nectar from those flowers while they're pollinating during the white tupelo bloom. And so while there are tupelo honeys that are produced in uh, the Carolinas, tupelo honeys that are produced in uh, even Louisiana and, uh, and Georgia, the only area where there are actually enough dense, there's enough density of population of the white tupelo plant or tree uh, to produce a pure white tubelo honey is in this particular region of northern Florida. So it was really, really awesome to be able to talk to them and learn about the way that, uh, you know, they have to canoe out into the swamps uh, to set up their, their beehives, their bee colonies there, so that they're uh, right within striking distance uh, when the Tupelo bloom happens. It takes about two weeks. Um, so it's a very, very short targeted bloom. Um, and you know, the color change in, in the honey is visible when you're going through the, the trays of honey in the hive. It's easy to see that like suddenly the honey is very, very pale. Uh, very, very light in color, uh, obviously thinner and, and a little runnier. And uh, one of the interesting things about Tupelo honey is aside from all of the work that goes into it and the fact that you have to uh, navigate through, through swampland to get to it, um, is that it is 100% uh, fructose. Uh, so most honeys are some, some blend, some ratio of fructose and sucrose, but the white Tupelo honey is actually 100% fructose which means that it will never uh, bind up, it will never crystallize, um, even, even through cold storage. So, um, so that's one of the reasons that it is highly prized, but it also has a very, very delicate, uh, fruity, creamy flavor. There is a hint of citrus to it, but uh, the, the, the light color and the thin viscosity um, are, it, it makes the creamy texture and flavor even more interesting to me. And I noticed that creamy, uh, creamy flavor coming through predominantly in, in the smoke of this year. So while previous iterations of Sunbear I felt were a little more forward in their floral aspect, um, floral in the spicy character or, or in a citrus note, I really find that the thing that this honey is really imparting to this blend and what makes this whole project so fun is we're making one tiny little change, but it makes like really neat, uh, really neat changes to to the way that you experience the blend that in this case yeah you're really getting that that creamy element uh, which is sort of a, a nice surprise so the components that make up this blend are uh canadian bright virginia beautiful high in sugar content uh, it's about 25 percent uh for this this particular crop 
um, but it's the same it's the same grade and and roughly the same percentage as what we've been using in previous iterations uh, 2019 uh, Bosma 2018 Izmir um, so the Bosma comes from Greece and has sort of an olive oil element to it and a little bit of a savory note um, and the, the Izmir always reminds me of two things it reminds me of uh, Walking into a, a tea shop it reminds me of uh, tea, like iced tea with lemon, uh, but it also reminds me just a touch of curry. Um, and then, and then uh, each year we use a small batch um, spool maker of of some kind of specialty honey. So this year, uh, Bright Virginia from Canada. Uh, Bosma from Greece, uh, Izmir from Turkey, and Tupelo honey coming from uh, northern Florida right there on the coast in the swamps. So I'm really excited about this blend. Uh, I'm really excited to continue to be able to focus on beekeeping um, and to be able to focus on, on using high quality honey in this blend and to be able to provide this very special uh, small batch of Sunbear Tupelo honey uh, to all of you this year. So thanks so much for watching. I hope this has been informative. Uh, again, the tobacco, uh, the tobacco portion of this blend is precisely the same as previous iterations. It's just the honey that, that we use to make the difference. So I hope everybody uh, is interested to check out and see what Tupelo has going on because I think it's rad. Have a good one, guys.